Good afternoon and welcome to the Moor Yachts YouTube channel. This afternoon we're down in Sunny Pool on the south coast in the UK to look at this lovely example, Sunseeker Superhawk 34. This example is finished in the all white hull and superstructure uh, and is fitted with the more desirable CAD 44 260 horsepower engines from this era. Um, this boat is available exclusively through Moor Yachts and full details can be found on our website at www.mooryachts.com. Please also don't hesitate to contact myself, Christian Moore, on 07855 441150 if you'd like further information or to discuss this boat in more detail. I'm just going to take you on a quick walkthrough video of the boat now to give you an idea of what she's like. So here we are, the start of the walkthrough tour. As mentioned, this is a really beautiful Sunseeker Superhawk 34. Uh, we've got the covers off now, so we're all ready to have a good look round. Um, this boat is uh, kept on the south coast in the UK. We have the full paperwork chain of title from it. It was bought from Sunseeker Sales down in Poole, so we know that everything's in order with it. As mentioned before, it's got the, uh, the lovely white hull on here with the blue boot top line, which is this line that runs along the bottom of the hull here. Very classic Sunseeker colours. White is a great colour scheme as well because it just doesn't fade or, or go milky like the darker colour hulls will. Um, so the current owner's had this boat for I think about three years now. Uh, he's looking to, to move up to something different. Um, really enjoyed the boat, but with a young family, it's time to move up and change the sort of boating that he's doing. He's really looked after the boat since he's had it. He's done plenty of upgrades and uh, subtle enhancements but kept the traditional look of it so he's not tried to upgrade it so much that it's no longer original and classic Sunseeker styling. Uh, he's also a very experienced owner so he knows his boats inside out having boated all his life. We'll just have a walk along the boat now. Beautiful stainless steel classic Sunseeker screen. You've got these lovely curved lines on them, curve around here, lovely curved windows as well. At its time when it came out it was just so ahead of the game with what it was doing and as you'll know this boat was famous for its role in the Sunseeker movies we'll just come down to the back here have a look at the outside so you can see into the cockpit have a good look on the outside so we're going to step aboard. Once we're aboard, we'll carry on with the video. Welcome aboard. So we step onto the bathing platform at the back here, which is a good size. Uh, you can see just under here, we have a swimming ladder here, stainless steel, neatly underneath that cover there, that drops into the water. You've got decent handles here to get out of the water when you're using it. And then as you come up onto the boat, You've got a nice sun pad at the back just while we're at the aft end of the boat you've got steps these have all been redone in teak going up onto the aft platform like i say nice big sun pad at the back nice walkway onto the boat and this takes you nicely into the cockpit So as mentioned, you've got the sun pad on the back and you've got this lovely seating area here. As you come onto the boat, the first thing you come across is this cupboard here. That's got your battery switches in and your shore power cable. So that's where you turn all the systems on. And then as you come through, you've got this lovely little wet bar area on the port side. Fridge little sink under here with hot and cold running water. The hot and cold running water system on here works off both the shore power and off the engine. So if you're not connected to shore power, then you still get hot water from the engines when you're running them. As we come round, nice U-shaped seating area here. Very sociable. We've got a lovely table that comes out here. So just to show you this, this cushion comes out. This comes up here. And then literally, you 
of the table and the cushion goes back in. This has been uh, subtly upgraded with a lovely teak table with nice detailing in the middle. The standard boats had like a plastic melamine type top on them, but uh, this has all been really nicely done. Just lift this back up again. And then you've got lots of storage underneath the seats here as well, just while we're having a look. Some flares and bits and pieces, toolkits. Just a note, whilst we're putting this back in, the current owner decided when he bought the boat to have all the upholstery redone in the cockpit because it was looking a bit tired. Obviously the boat being from 1999, the outside gets the wear and tear. So this upholstery has all been redone within the last two or three years. I'm not sure exactly when it was done. Uh, so he decided to go with the standard white uh, vinyl upholstery with the blue inserts on there. Some people tend to go for something a bit more modern, but actually this works really well on this boat and it's very, very complimentary towards the styling and the era of the boat, but it still looks really modern. Um, as we're looking around on here, the aft seating here, um, this lifts up and folds flat, so you can have a bigger sun pad on here, which again, just works really well. This boat's so well thought out. Um, and if you're on the boat, just a couple of you, and you're relaxing, it's lovely to have the bigger sun pad area and then when you're not using it, just put it back and you've got a nice backrest for the seating. You'll also notice on here, there's some low level lights on the entrance hallway and in the cockpit as you come down. And this boat also has the teak inserts on the aft platform, which has been redone in a flexi teak. So very hard wearing and easy to maintain. And then inside we've got the traditional teak flooring in the cockpit. which is in very good condition. Uh, it's obviously well looked after on this bow. Just as we're having a quick look round, um, I refer later on to the covers of the boat. Um, you can see here on the radar arch, you've got some cockpit speakers, and then you've got the rollover bars here with the covers in them. And then you've got the radar arch on top here the navigation lights on this boat have been upgraded with newer LED style ones, but again, done really nicely. So they're complementary to the style and finish of the boat rather than trying to make it look like something it's not. So again, really well thought out and nicely done. As we come forward, we come up to the helm area. As you can see, the helm's been really beautifully finished off. Um, just coming down and we're sitting at the helm position now. So we've got all these lovely toggle switches here, which have all been updated. Uh, they're the newer style of switch. The older ones used to be rubberized and they'd go all sticky and horrible in the sun. Um, this is, as mentioned, has got the lovely carbon dash panels and all the electronics have been fitted really beautifully on here. So uh, going back to what we're saying, we've got the autopilot system here, chop lots of GPS, latest touch screen, and then we've got GPS and depth on here. When you move out of the marina, the depth comes up and you can see it. I know it just struggles when you first start on here. So uh, engine instrumentation, compass up at the top, as mentioned, new style Sunseeker steering wheel, which just looks lovely, finishes off really nicely on here. And then engines, just start this up for you quickly, turn them on, make sure they're in neutral. So you can see, starts really quickly on the button, and uh, yeah, sound really good. So then, as we come back round, got the engine keys down here. Uh, we have the bow thruster control here. Just turn that on. You can hear that working. And then you have trim controls for the outdrives here. Engine diagnostics for the um, Volvo Pentas. These being the CAD 44 are the newer generation engine, the 260 horsepower. So they've got the electronic ECUs and the engine controls on them. So a real pleasure to drive using those. And then you've got the Bennett trim tabs with the gauge down here. Uh, VHF radio, low level, low level lighting. Um, and then you have a speaker for the VHF down there as well. And as we come back up, you've got this really neat helm seat on here which is a, a double helm seat, which is nice to sit at, but it also has a um, 
just trying to show you on here, you have a, a drop down on it. So if you want to drive standing up, you drop the seat down out of the way and then you can come back at the helm position, stand up and it's really nice, just much more comfortable standing when you're driving higher up, better visibility. So you can see around the boat really easily. Just have a quick pan round. Just have a look over the side here. You can see the access walkway is really good. Got your diesel filler here. The water tank fillers on the rear quarter at the back there. Uh, let's just quickly show you that. As you can see, it's down there. And as we come round, another look at the helm area there. Nice passenger seat here. You've got a, a really handy little storage compartment down on the side in here, so you can put your bits and pieces. And then under this seat here, there's uh, insulated underneath, so you can fill it up with ice and put some extra drinks, and or if not, just use it as storage. But again, just works really well. Some further lighting down there. Side deck on this side. You can see on there, I mentioned the nav lights earlier, so there, the new ones on there. There's also an opportunity to have bow sunbathing cushions on the front. Um, check the spec, because I'm not sure whether this one's got them, but if you do have them, then they just slide into the rails on the front there. Uh, it's quite a nice option to have if you want a bit more sunbathing area. And then as we come back down again, You've just got a locker in the floor here, which they call a lazarette, which is handy for fenders and covers and lots of storage. That goes across the whole of the centre section of the boat here, and it's nice storage area for you. In the aft section of the cockpit, you've got the tanks under the floor, so um, there's no storage there. Right, as we come down below, This is where this boat is just really special and beautiful. Now obviously, as with all our boats, this is an owner's boat, so we're showing you it as they use it. So it's got the lovely gloss cherry cabinetry inside, but it's rather than being fully gloss, which a lot of them were, this one has the, the white uh, finished panels in, in the middle. Um, so it's a gloss finish panel and all these doors here make it look really super a lot more contemporary not quite as dated as having the cherry everywhere original sunseeker handles you've got the heads area in here manual flush toilet teak flooring basin you'll see here there's a a tap and a uh, um, the spray nozzle comes out so you can use that as a wet room shower and then you've got storage in the cabinets behind there for all your wash gear. Close that off as we look up. Barometer. Looks like the weather's going to change. We've had the best of it I think. And as we come round on the port side we've got the galley here. So again you've got another fridge in here with a little ice tray at the top which is quite handy. Storage cupboards, knife and fork drawer. You have more storage at the top here. Some people have microwave put on these, but you can't use it at sea. So it's actually handier to have it as a storage cupboard. If you do have the microwave, these just slide away out of the way. But like I say, you've got to have it plugged into shore power to use that. You've got the fusion stereo system on here, which has been upgraded on this boat. So that's all been done. And then as you look around, you've got the new upholstery down below, which I have to say in this blue color is lovely. And I've just got to point out this teak flooring. It's a, a flexi teak finish, but it's got the lighter colored caulking on it. So it's really durable. Um, I think the current owners had this done, but it just, just really finishes off the inside beautifully. And in here, what you have is, I won't get it out at the moment because we've got all the bedding and everything up here. 
but there's a table that sits underneath the mattress at the front and that folds out in between this bit here you can see there's a, a bit on the floor there and the table comes out so you can all sit around the table or you can drop the table down and you can get an infill cushion and make it into another bunk so if you've got small kids and you're staying on the boat you can always have your double bed up here and then a smaller uh, infill cushion double here for the kids it just works really really well as we move forward there's plenty of um, sockets here 12 volt sockets so cigarette lighter sockets USB cables perfect for charging your phones or whatever stereo speakers various lighting you've got the side lights at the top here you've got uh, these lovely shelves on here so they've got the um, the tray wood fiddles on them to finish them off you've got the nice champagne vinyl upholstery all the way across at the top uh, and then you've got plenty of storage as you can see on here you've got all the original boat manuals there captain's hat very important glad to see the owner takes it seriously which is good um, and plenty of storage for anything else that you want to put up and then at the front here this has got an upgraded mattress on it um, you've got the bit in the middle to let the table come up but this has been upgraded the Sunseeker mattresses and you've got a decent double berth on there with a hatch up at the top there for plenty of air to get through final thing just down below here whilst we're looking this is the systems panel so on this you've got all the AC side the shore power side so when you're plugged into the shore power you can um, you've got battery charger water heater cooker sockets shaver socket in the bathroom so that's all run off the shore power when you're out at sea you just run off the domestic batteries and the engine batteries which are 12 volt on this boat so you've got all your breakers here for all your various bits and pieces on the on the DC side of the system on the boat. Really well laid out, nicely accessible, typical sun seeker, really nicely done. Even the switch panels look classy and stylish. So as we come back, just have a look around. You've got a couple more overhead vents here. Nice down lights in the ceiling. Just show you the galley side from back here. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of what the boat's like. We're just having a quick scan around here. Again, this really is a lovely example of a Superport 34. So coming back out, we're almost done. Just come back out into the cockpit area. I just want to quickly show you inside without anyone in there so you can get a good idea of the size. And then as we come round, the last thing I wanted to show you was the engine hatch in the engine room. So on this you have a hydraulic opening engine hatch. Just lifting that up now. So I've just done it with the engines on, just so you can see them running. I will turn them off. So the engines are running at the moment. You can see them running. Just going to come back and turn these off. No point in leaving them running excessively if we don't need to. So as we come back in here, just wanted to show you this engine room because again, typical Sunseek, especially this era, really well engineered, really well put together, nice and clean and tidy. And I just wanted to show you on this boat because at this age, some of these boats can be a little bit tired and not look too good. Um, but actually looking around this boat I've been really impressed with the way everything seems to be up together and well looked after. So in here you've got a big storage tray here which is perfect for tools and oils and fire extinguishers and everything else that you want to put on the boat. Um, and then as we go back and we look in the engine room itself you can see you've got the twin Volvo Cab 44s here. Again looking at these superficially they look very clean and tidy. Um, I know the owner has them serviced every year and looked after. On the port side here, we've got the uh, batteries on here, domestic and engine batteries. All the trunking for all the cabling back there. The, um, the bit above on the top here, which is hard to see, but that's all to do with the electronic engine controls. And then at the back, we have uh, hydraulic pumps for um, outdrives, trim tabs, 
um, rudder angle indicators for the autopilot system, uh, a fans for the to take the hot air out of the engine space. And as we come down, we've just got a calorifier here for the hot water system. As I say, the hot water runs off both the shore power and off the engines. And then as we look round, just coming back this way, you have the, uh, the fuel tanks and the water tanks in the centre of the boat back here. So everything's really accessible, really nicely finished, nice red finish to the, um, to the engine room, which again was, was standard finish for any of the Hawk range back in this era. They always used to put the engine rooms in red as it was more of a race type boat. Um, and that kind of finishes off where we are for today. So in a minute, I'm gonna show you the boat with the covers on and that will be the end of the video. Just finishing off now, we've had a quick look around the boat, so we're having a look at it with the covers back on. This has the tonneau cover on at the moment, which is the complete cockpit cover that covers over the windows and the aft cockpit, and it's the flat, easy one to put on. In addition to this, there is also a camper cover set that go on the boat, which if I come up and show you on here, you'll see on the radar arch, You've got these bars that go across here and the ones at the back. These ones slot into the windscreen area here. And the rear ones here fold back. That gives you a nice tonneau cover over the front. And then you've got windows that go all the way around and curtains so that it gives you like a cockpit tent area so you can sleep underneath or if you want to enjoy the boat in the colder weather, you can entertain in the aft cockpit and it gives you nice dry space to, to spend on the boat. Um, so that concludes our video for today. Uh, as always, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends about all our social media, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next time around. Many thanks for watching.